guys, welcome back to another one. Today we are in Alabama. Um, not much history on this house that I know of. A buddy of mine does know a lot of this history, so as I'm editing the video, I will type it in the bottom so you guys can read it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This place is amazing. Uh, old Victorian style. Definitely one of my favorites. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Places. This place is super clean. Not sure exactly when it uh, became abandoned, but hello. chandelier some gloss of shoe oh I love these tubs these the old cloth feet style probably not but now we gotta try it. Nope, no water. So this was a house and then it was bought out by multiple offices. They kind of shared the property. So I'm guessing like each room had its own little purpose. But yeah, this is the upstairs and uh that chair looks very comfortable. If it wasn't dusty, I'd probably take a nap on it right now because we've been road tripping for about five days now, so. Uh, still going strong. See you guys downstairs. Here's the downstairs. <clears throat> this guy's got a lot of books. Let's see what kind of books they are. I'm not familiar with these, but if anybody knows what they are, leave a comment down below. Tell me what they are. <clears throat> uh, I feel like he was a lover of chairs because he's got a lot of them. You've seen them more upstairs. Another one of the fireplaces. You can definitely tell this house was old because it was powered by, or heated by fire. Here's an old Edison. You don't see many of these around anymore. Everybody's got CDs and MP3 players and all that stuff. This was a gift. does still work as you can see on my buddy Banks' video. You don't see many of these around anymore either. But I love this man. I wonder what year this thing is. Of course she doesn't want to zoom on it but let's see. 1913. Oh, that's a bad thing. Never mind, sorry. Thomas Edison. So, yeah, this is an old Edison. Did 
There's Mr. Alex. <laughs> trying to film my intro. I'm ruining his intro. <laughs> yeah. This, this is Alex's camera. <laughs> Say hi, Alex's camera. Oh, we got some old pins. I definitely know there's some pin collectors out there, so if anybody sees anything that's good, you let me know. These things are amazing. I don't know. I never really got into pins, but I know a lot of people are into them. There's a lot of ones that are out there that are worth a lot of money, and they're just collectibles just in general. National Geographic, that's my dream job, to be a photographer, a videographer for them. That'd be amazing. So if anyone from National Geographic is watching this, email me. Now, I was going to close this out, but I know a lot of people will like this. I have to show this. This is an actual photo. This isn't like... This isn't like a magazine cutout. That's actually petty. Right there. That's insane. That's a, that's a big NASCAR history right there. So here we are in another room. This one I'm not totally sure what it could be. It has a drain in the middle and it has plugs everywhere. I kind of want to think that this would be the kitchen, but also there is no faucet in it. Like water in it anywhere. Oh, actually there's one right there. I lied. Um, maybe a wash area? It is right here a bathroom, so um, I don't know. Maybe it was a big wash area for when it was made into the doctor's offices, but if you guys know, I mean, leave a comment in the or leave a comment below. Let me know what you think this might have been. These are really cool too. We keep seeing these everywhere. Um, they're just dragons, but we keep seeing them everywhere. This has to be one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever seen. I would love to have this as my bathroom. Huge ceilings. I'm six foot. I'm, there's got to be at least 15 foot ceilings in this place. And uh, don't forget to be safe, guys. But also, one last thing I want to see. And this is for my boy Steve Ronan because he likes doing this. As well as Big Banks. We've got a fridge. And you know, we've got to open it, so... Nothing in it. That was pretty sealed up pretty good though. Same. She's moldy though. So watch out for that. And then we got... She's all boarded up. Upstairs. You can see this definitely was an office because they got the exit signs now. So, But uh... That wraps up this video. Sorry, it's not crazy long. After I edit it, it's probably going to be a lot shorter than I think it's going to be, but um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really going to try and get my YouTube channel going back up now, so if you can like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. Even just subscribing, that helps out. So, see you guys later, have a good day, and enjoy yourselves.